So here we are, late Tuesday night. I promised a review on this. What I thought about the game, how much I loved it. Was it good? Was it bad? You gotta give it some time. You gotta play two, three hours in. At first it feels redundant, repetitive, unoriginal, and you're like, oh man, no way they messed up another Fist of the North Star game. Fist of the North Star game in the past haven't been that great. I always wished for a open world RPG type of Shenmue crossover, you know, Sega input goodness. Well, guess what? It's all that. It is all that. It is a masterpiece of a Fist of the North Star series game. It is the best Fist of the North Star game ever. Now I've played for about 8 hours now, 8 or 10 hours, and I'm like... If you watch the first movie, that's all I ever watched so many times. And I'm like, is it before or is it after? Because you do see scenes remastered and redone with the PS4 Pro Enhanced Graphic. It's so... I wish I had a 4K TV to see the full potential of this game. But just playing on a regular screen, the image quality is just really insane. And seeing all the voice acting, English voice acting throughout the game and seeing these old scene remastered. And you see both of those kids in the first movie, they're there. Everything is there. I'm like... In the timeline, to me, thus far, it feels like it's after the first movie. But I might be wrong. I gotta play some more. It is open world. You can customize your car. You can drive around. Have a bunch of side quest missions. Do all the battles you want. Do the Fist of the North Star action fist punch like crazy. Like you want. You're pressing that square circle. The thing that... Kind of is uh, really hard for me to master yet is to figure out the pressure points. As you're fighting, you can do t combos. First and foremost, when you start the game, the character has an upgrade tree and has many, many possibilities. To make the game more enjoyable, might I suggest upgrading the skill tree where you can do more combos, more different moves. Because at first you're like, man, he's just doing two moves and this is kind of boring. But after that, you unlock more skill points and you upgrade the skill tree and Kenshiro gets as powerful as he is in the anime movie. It's just so good. I, I'm really happy with it. I am going to play through it and finish it totally. I don't know how many hours total, but there's so much stuff to do. All these mini games. You could go in the casino in the main town of Eden when you're uh, starting off the game and you can go back whenever you want. Boss battles are epic. You know, in the movie, you always had these big chunk of guys, and he was so tiny, you could just punch his way out. It's a bit harder, but still very fun, very unique. They finally did it right 35 years later. I think it's about 35 to 36 years when the first movie came out. They did a bunch of games, but they never grasped my attention and the lore and the story and the love for the game. They actually grasped it in this. You can forget about all the other games. This is the first and the best there is. Now, as you build up the rage combo and everything, you could go full out and press R2 and you just have a bunch of talisman also. That is the whole point of this. People have been saying, play with these characters, and I had comments on other videos. I'm like, no, this are the power-ups. Talisman are scraps you pick up throughout. It's like a combination, just like Monster Hunter looking for pieces to build power-ups, but these can be used in battle. They make you more powerful. One has like ultimate defense. One gives you uh, ultimate, like, right away rage combo without even charging it up. Yeah, there's a bunch of power-ups. And all these can be uh, uh, available if you buy the, uh, the super launch edition bonus. They're available right off the bat. But you need the elements to build them. But they're very helpful. So I gotta say, must buy, must own. It's a masterpiece to me. I always love the movie so much. 30 years ago it was one of my favorite and first anime and this game just rocks you're walking around open world and like I said unlock 
more combos at first because it kind of gets boring you only has two move in the beginning but if you upgrade there's four different upgrade trees and you have to really focus on the skill tree the first one on the left put all your orbs in there then you can go with the other ones so you gotta go try it. if you're a fan of the series it's gotta be a must buy must own no questions asked it's really that good i loved it don't forget thumbs up the video have yourself a great night Thank you for your patience. I really waited on this one because at first glance, I wasn't inspired, so I had to play more into it. But it's good. So I'll see you soon. Have a great night.